Hey everybody. So Meters Lama 3 open source LLM utilization extends across various domains. So it offers numerous applications. So in this tutorial, we will explore leveraging the power of Lama 3 LLM for chatting with multiple CSV files. So we're going to be analyzing the files and visualizing them all down locally. So we will utilize the power of pandas AI and Olama, all right? So all within the framework of Streamlet. So this application ensures user privacy because everything is done 100% locally. All right, so Pandas AI uses a generative AI model to understand and interpret natural language queries and it translates them into Python code and SQL queries. So it then uses the code to interact with the data and return the results to the user. So this tutorial will cover an application overview, the guide on installing the Olama on your local machine, and we're going to demonstrate building the application within Streamlet, using Streamlet. So let's dive into the demo. All right, so before we do that, you can find documentation and you can use the GitHub link. All right, so I'm gonna attach all these documents the links in the description so you can you can get it all right so you can see we have the documents on the local olama how we're going to use that so we're going to implement this to build the application all right so let's dive into the application so we're going to be using two documents so we have one here that is has information on cars policies and we have another one here is an Irish data CSV file. All right, so we're gonna be using that as a demonstration. So I'm gonna upload, I've already run this, so I'm gonna upload the files. So you can upload multiple documents as you have here. So I'm gonna upload this ones. All right, so you have the option to select the files you uploaded, whichever one you wanna chat so I'm going to say, let me chat with the first one. And it displays the numbers here. So you can, it displays the data frame. So it is the, just a sample of the data that's being displayed here. So I'm going to say how many rows and columns are in the Data set. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. All right, so I'm going to hit chat, CVS, CSV, and there you have it. So as you can see from the document, we have 58592. So let's verify. Say, awesome, 593. All right, that's great. Right, so we have this number of rows, which is accurate. All right, so let me, let me have 28 columns. All right, so let me ask another one. I'm gonna say, which, which make has the highest number of airbags all right, so this is the sample data. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look up for the make that has the number, highest number of airbags, highest number of airbags. So I'm gonna hit chat with C, S, D. All right, so we're saying that the mix with the highest number of airbags are Honda. All right, it's awesome. All right, so let's do one. Go to the stride from the Iris data set. So I'm going to say, let me ask a question. So I'm going to say, what, which type of species as the highest 
So power length. So when I hit start CSV. All right, so the species with the highest sepal length is Virginica, which is awesome. All right, so let's, so I'm gonna take you to VS Code and we are gonna look through this step by step and how to build it. All right, so if you've not, if already haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this all right so let's get started so to run this application on your local machine you should have a minimum of 15 to 20 gb of ram in order to run application all right so it might take some time depending on the system that you are using all right so let's get into it in my vs code so we have the, so I'm gonna attach the link. I'm gonna attach the files in my GitHub and the link to the content in my description, all right? So here is, you're gonna install this Pandas, Pandas AI and Streamlet, all right? So I'm gonna show you how you do this. So I'm gonna create a new terminal. I'm gonna close this one. All right, so if you want to create an environment just like this one, you go to Python, plus M, V, E, M, V, E, M, V. So when you hit enter, it should create an environment just like this one. I've already created one. So the next thing is to let's activate it. So I'm going to say E, M, V slash scripts slash activate. So when you hit enter, it should create an environment just like this one. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to install this requirement. So you're going to say pip install that's our requirement dot st. So when you hit enter, it should install all these requirements. All right, I've already done that. So what we need to do is to create a, a app.py. So I already created that so now what we're going to do is going to run you through how you can do this so we're going to import from from pandas ai.llm.localllm so we're going to import the local llm so that is what we are going to use for the local meta that's the lama3 model right so we're going to import the import the lama3 from the local llm and we're going to import the streamlet as ST to create our framework. And pandas is for data manipulation. So from pandas AI, we import this smart data frame. So that is going to interact with the data using the LLM number three. So we create a function to chat with the CSV data. So we create a function, we call it chat with CSV. So we pass the data, we pass the query. So that's from query going to be from the user. So we initialize the local LLM with the MetaLama3 model. So this is what we create for the LLM. So we are using the local LLM and we are passing the base, All right? So the base is the API base and we are going to, so this is the link for the API base. This to run through Lama and the model is the Lama3 model. All right, so quickly, we are going to initialize the smart data frame with data frame and Lama, the LLM configuration. So we are going to create an pandas AI and we are going to say that is, we are going to instantiate it, initialize it. So we are passing the data frame and we are passing the configuration. That is the LLM. So we are passing the LLM we've created here, pass it in here. And the, so the, we create a resource. So we chat with data frame using the provided query. So we create a variable called resource and we are passing our query through the pandas AI, right? 
and we are going to return the results. So we set a, a layout configuration for the Streamlit page and we want to name it multiple CSV chat up powered by LLM and we upload multiple files so we are saying that we are giving it a name input csvs and we want to write it on the sidebar and we upload the csv files so the type is go to csv and it's when we want to accept multiple csv files all right and we check if csv files are uploaded so if these files are uploaded we select a file from the uploaded files using the drop down menu to so create a drop down menu menu to select a csv file so we just iterate through the file names and select a csv file and we select the index of that file so we name it index dot index selected file and we load and display the selected csv files all right so we put up information a message we say csv uploaded successfully and we say quick create a variable called data so we want to pass the data and the of what we've selected all right so the selected index we want to pass this data and we want to create a data frame we want to print a head to be three and we want to use a container right so the container width is equal to true and we enter the query for the analysis all right so we pass chart below as our information and we enter the query in a text area. So we create a box to enter a query. So we perform our analysis. If we have the input text, if the input text, we, we want to display a button, say chart with a CSV, and we want to pass the input. And now we want to get a result. So we create a variable called a resource. We call our function, we pass the data and the input text, and we want to extend the resource. All right, that is really simple. All right, so now we want to do, let me show you how to install Olama quickly. And in here is, we have the Olama website. That is the olama.com. In here, we have the downloads, pretty easy to install, depending on your machine specification, Mac OS, you have the Linux, you have the Windows. So your version, you just download it, right? And if you see this icon here, it is successfully installed. So when you download it, it's pretty easy to install, right? When you see it here, it's successfully installed. And let's get back to VS Code. So now we want to say Olama. So now we want to call our Olama 3. So we want to say Olama. Lama, we want to pull Lama 3. So when you do this, all right, so we have that installed successfully. And now let me run. Streamlet app, streamlet run app. So when you hit enter, let me upload my files. So I'm gonna upload the same document here. And right, so let me ask a question. So I'm gonna say, What is, is the Average age of a So I'm asking a question from this file, the average age of a car. And let me say child with CSV. Awesome. So this is the average age of a car. All right. So let me switch it over to the next file to ask a question switch it over so when i do iris so it displays the data here for the iris all right so let me say so we'll say what is the average value of 
principal for principal and principal width for the iris species species so let me hit sharp with csv all right so the average sepal length is 5.84 and the average petal width is 1.20 awesome all right so let me let me say which type of species has the highest sepal sepal length when I hit chapter CSV all right so species the highest sepal length is Virginica all right so I'm going to navigate to this file and so I'm going to say draw draw the histogram of the of the page of age of policy Hold that column. Okay, so let's look at the histogram. Well, as you can see, you can see your beautiful histogram that is plotted here. The histogram of age of policy holder. So that you see the histogram here in your VS code. Right. Awesome. All right. So I hope you like this video. Do well to explore, and let me know what you think about this this application of Llama and how you're able to chat with your CLVs. All right. So do well to subscribe and like share and see you in the next one